Hey there, Torai. Welcome now to Thursday. Well, it's a sunny day, but I think for the Tauruses, you are either chatty or pensive or both. In fact, pensive is just chatty on the inside. That's because the moon is still in Cancer for another day in a row. But I think a lot of the work today does deal with your subconscious. Remember, we're in the second chapter now of Sun and Aries, and this month, Tauruses are clearing out the weeds in their soul garden and creating an inner space that gives them an unwavering faith that they can use to go out and conquer and do what they want to do in the world. Now, chapter one, of course, was about cutting away from whatever habits or attitudes you have that sabotage you, the weeds in your soul garden. In chapter two, we want to explore new activities to replace those weeds. So for instance, if one of your weeds is that you smoke way too much and it always depletes your energy, we need a replacement weed for that habit, the habit of hand to mouth, the habit of taking time for yourself, etc. Maybe it's chewing gum, maybe it's running on the treadmill, but we have to create replacement, replacement flowers for where we once had weeds because our body, especially as Tauruses, are going to crave to have that routine in place. Tauruses feel secure from routine. Now today, Jupiter is ruling the day. Whenever Jupiter rules the day, it basically means the universe is saying, hey, try something new and I'll give you a little surprise. So today, in the effort of treating yourself better, facing your weeds better, try something entirely new. Try yoga, try meditation, try uh, you know, any of these out there kind of ideas and see if you don't feel better. And even if you don't feel better, you can at least cross it off your list and say, hey, I tried something new, I'm trying to expand my awareness. Through expansion of your awareness will come the expansion of opportunities. And sometimes one leads to one that you never even thought of. Now, there may be a little tug and pull today with your mind versus your theories on top of all this, because the moon in Cancer is putting you into this uh, moment of really processing a lot. You're feeling how you feel, and you're thinking about how you feel about how you feel. So it's a great day to talk to people and blog and things like that. But the moon is also opposing Pluto in Capricorn, which is in the sector of belief structure for Tauruses. So in other words, if you find yourself caught up with a certain emotional attitude or your emotions are making your mind think one thing and your thoughts are making your emotions trigger somewhere else, you have to ask yourself, did your beliefs about life put you in this position in the first place? Because with Pluto and Capricorn, it's basically saying to Tauruses, your beliefs, the way you believe life is, this is really what's antiquated. This is what's flawed. You may be very wise, you may be very smart, and I'm talking to myself right now, but there's a new way, there's a better way as the world is changing. So the best thing you can do for yourself, Taurus, is just to approach the Earth like, it's, like you're on Mars, you've never been here before, and to assume that you're going to learn, relearn everything here in the next 16 years. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So